In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're gonna go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. Last week, we arrived in Twillingate, Newfoundland, the iceberg capital of the world, and we were not disappointed. This week, we're gonna drive just a few short miles across town to Long Point Lighthouse, where rumor has it, there is some incredible boondocking, and you know, we have to check that out. I saw a glimpse of coloring. It knocked me off my feet I thought I saw a spark in your eyes Today we are just outside of Twilling Gate. This area here we found on iOverlander and it is free camping with one of the best views of the ocean that I've ever seen. And making it even more special is the giant waves and the high winds that are coming through right now. And we yet even have our own iceberg. How cool is that? Super excited about this location. Right now I'm going back inside because it is super cold and windy. Carrie's already got the heater going. Cool. The color of the waves when they're curling. Yeah. They're super cool green. This, this is awesome. going for a little hike today going to see if I can make my way down to a picnic table that's right in front of that iceberg and there I see a road down there I just don't see a way to get to it from here so I'm gonna have to backtrack down into a cove over here and then work my way in that direction I do also see some steps leading up to the top of that hill right there in the center of the screen so if those are doable, I hope to climb up that as well. Rudel's not coming with me. He was already outside this morning and he does not like the temperature and the wind combination. So it's about 30 degrees. The wind's blowing at about 20 miles an hour. Um, Rudel was ready to get back in the van. So off we go. This is the lower lot and this is Crowhead RV parking. And there's a sign on this door, it's not currently being in operation but there's a sign on the door that says it's four dollars to stay overnight i had to read that twice because this seems like a heck of a deal now i think it's free right now because there's no gate then there's nobody here other than somebody that pulled in late last night at class a over there so maybe it's free on the off season and then four dollars a night during peak season but that's a heck of a deal you're right here on the water there's bathrooms and picnic tables and the best view ever. And hopefully I can find a road down here that leads to that staircase overlooking the iceberg down here. But look at all this extra parking. I'm impressed. And here is the road that I could see from up above where we're at. And now I'm trying to think of if our van can make it up here. So far it might be possible, it's at the upper limits. 
long as I stay out of the ruts. Here's the picnic table that you can see from our van. I'm not all that far away, but look at the view. And just the color of the water is fantastic. I just want to take a couple seconds and let everybody know that my back is doing better. There's lots of comments and helpful hints about different exercises and stretches. Um, I really appreciate all of them and everybody's concern. Thank you so much. And I'm going to keep up with those exercises so I can stay out here on the hiking trails. And now I think I'm going to go for these steps and see if I can get to the top of this hill or wherever the trail ends up going to. I just need the wind to let up just a little bit. I've got the drone with me so I can get the drone up in the air and get a closer look. Ooh, this trail's slick right through here. Now the trail ducks into the forest here, back into the snow, keeps going up. Could have definitely used my micro spikes. Look how the sunbeams lighten up the moss. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling getting up on here. Going from tree to tree. Huh. I can't get too close to the edge here. <laughs> wow. I can see the trail goes all the way to the end of this point. But I don't have my micro spikes on right now. The trail's a little bit risky to be up here by myself. So I think I'm going to turn around and head back. I'm not disappointed though. I think Rudel likes a chair like that. Mm -hmm. Rudel, you look funny. What are you doing, Dad? Watching the waves, eating your lunch? Yep, it's better than watching a movie.
What you see here is what's left of Sleepy Cove Copper Mine, operated by Great Northern Copper Company, who excavated a 114 foot deep shaft of this cliffside. While mine operations peaked in 1918, copper prices soon plummeted and the mine was closed in 1920. The plan is to get out and hike. And why are we dressed like this? Because it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit and with the wind, it feels like it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So why are we hiking today? Because the next two weeks is the same forecast, but with a chance of rain. Or snow. Or snow. <laughs> <laughs> so over my shoulder to the left here is the lighthouse. The nice thing about where we're camping is there's so much hiking, we can choose to go in any direction. The trail starts out going up this road, which by looking at it, I'd say we couldn't make it in our heavy front wheel drive van. It is way too steep. I think our tires, front tires would just spin. Might be able to make it up in reverse, but I don't think I would try that either. <laughs> that would be awful. It's yeah. steep. It gets even steeper. And then there. it gets steeper. Yeah, it looks terrible. Unless you have an off-road vehicle and you can have the prime spot. Not only can you see the cove, but you can see our van at the top of that hill over there, sticking out above everything else. Boy, this is crazy. You come during the off season and there's nobody around here. At least not many. There's at least a couple of icebergs just back in the fog a little bit. Hard to see, but they're there. We'll get a better look at them maybe in a day or two. Natural jetty here. It's getting pummeled by the big waves coming out of the north. Today's not as windy as it has been in the last couple of days, but the swells are still pretty big.
<laughs> Those are some big waves coming in and crashing. I could watch this all day. Everybody's watching mama. Yeah, I know, there she is. I told her not to get too close to the edge, but I don't think she listened. Such a good boy, Rudel. You're such a good boy. You saw Carrie started on your haircut. You got a little bit of a mohawk. We can't shave the rest of you off because then you'll get cold. It's cold out here. Yeah. Okay. I uh, sorry. Yeah, too much attention. All right. Good boy. Do you find a stick? Okay, you're probably gonna have to leave it, bud. Or bring it with you. Come on. And the view was just fantastic. One of the best hikes I've been on in a long time. It doesn't seem to matter where you go hiking here, at least in Twilling Gate. The views are spectacular everywhere. It reminds me a little bit of the rocky coastline in Oregon. Maybe not quite as drastic. I mean, this is just amazing. It is amazing. Can you see this little tiny? Well, it's not tiny, but up here it looks tiny iceberg behind us. <laughs> Right in between us. <laughs> and even though it's a cloudy day, the color of the water is this amazing turquoise color. We did not want to come out and hike because it's cold, but we sure are glad we did. Yeah, totally worth it. I think we're going to head back to the van now. My favorite thing about this area is where we're parked has the best view maybe anywhere in Twilling Gate. I don't know, but it is awesome. Yep. And the trails, you can hike right from camp. So you don't have to move the van around, your rig around. You can just go hiking. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat the views here. It's just spectacular. I don't know how we're gonna beat this spot. Um, and on a clear night, you can see the stars and look out over the ocean. You wake up in the morning and you watch the boats go out. I mean, it's just spectacular. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, what you need to know. Any size rig can get up in here. Obviously, if you're giant, you're not gonna be able to park here at the top. But the only thing I would suggest if you have a large fifth wheel that you scout it out first. Just walk up here, make sure that you're going to have enough room to turn around because if there's other campers up in here, that could be a challenge. Yes. There are at least four or five, I think, designated camp spots. Depending on how big your rig is, one spot you could probably get, I don't know, six or eight vans. You could, yeah. So it just depends on who's here before you. Now, this is a free site. Um, just up the hill, you can see Long Point Lighthouse. There is a parking lot where you can park there as well. Again, we are here May 1st. The lighthouse is not open yet. So the lighthouse parking is going to be come in late at night, leave early in the morning. Don't block the parking lot because all the tourists are going to be coming. Yeah. Now, if those two are full, there's a third option. Yeah, Sleepy Cove has a, they call it an RV park there. And it looks like it's $4 a night, even though they're not collecting money right now. So right now it's open and it's free. But later on in the summer, it could be $4 a night. There is a number to call at the gate. We That's, can't tell if they're actually honoring that or if it hasn't been used for some yeah. time. But there are like four RV pads down there yeah. that are pretty level. And that's a walk right to the beach with a spectacular view yeah, as a, well. Yeah, nice long pads, any size vehicle. <laughs> so there's no amenities up here where we're at. There's no garbage, no nothing. So uh, there's yeah. a, there, it, there is a fire ring. It doesn't look like it gets used much and it is windy all the time. So I'm not sure I would even try Attempt to, it. Yeah. There's not much wood around, so I would say probably forego that. <laughs> yeah. 
We are very close to town within, I don't know, three to five miles. Yeah. Again, we are here May 1st, so most everything is not open yet. Yeah. <laughs> there is an RV uh, park in town where you can stay as well that has amenities like showers, laundry facilities, and... I believe it opens May 15th, right? Water and trash, yes. So we haven't been able to check that out. We are getting a little bit of Verizon internet. We are getting a lot of Verizon internet. <laughs> We're getting four bars of LTE right here in this spot. And of course we are limited to two high speed gigabytes a day. Doesn't seem to matter with us. We've been uh, streaming videos. We've been doing all our work and <laughs> it's working just fine. I did want to say that if you come to any of these spots, please be patient. You will not be alone and you will have lots of visitors. Yeah, not a bad idea to leave a little gap for the locals to be able to come in because it's popular for them to come check out the icebergs or just the coastline and do the hikes as well. And the view. And the view. <laughs> of course, come with your jacket and a hat. Uh, it's very windy here yeah. and it gets very chilly. I would suggest a really high quality windbreaker that neither of us have one, but <laughs> it's been windy almost every single day. Yes. Okay, I think we got it covered. This is a must stop. Yeah. The Twilling Gate area is just spectacular. Um, the coastline is amazing. I would say it would take like at least two or three weeks just to see all the trails. That's if you went hiking like every day. Yeah. So there is a lot to do. Yes. Now the iceberg boat tours were supposed to start yesterday and the ice pack is so thick in the harbor that they had to prolong that a week. Yeah, they're gonna try again next week. <laughs> so we're hoping to go out on one of those as well, but we're just enjoying being here. Yep, if you get a chance, come up and visit. All right, we thank you for watching. Please stick around, we got more exciting videos coming and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please do. And we will catch you next week. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.